Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today, I have two undervalued 9.8 comics you should invest in. And these two make a great pair. I think one is great if you're on a bit of a budget. It's right around $100. And uh, the other one's a lot more expensive, but it's a great, like, serious one if you're kind of serious into, uh, you know, investing in 9.8 comics. So the first one, it's a uh, Spawn number 16 in a 9.8. This one, it's the first Greg Capullo artwork on Spawn. I think that's a little bit undervalued right now. I think Capullo has had a super long history of doing awesome Spawn artwork. You know, he did like the covers for the first Gunslinger Spawn, which are, has turned out to be so popular. Still doing like awesome Spawn covers nowadays. So I think this first Greg Capullo Spawn book is just kind of one to go after. Now, interesting with Spawn comics of this era, in the direct edition, there's going to be like a zillion printed, basically, because Spawn was so popular during this period. So the direct editions in this one, they're going right around $100. Uh, but I think the new stand edition is going to be one to kind of hunt if you're liking this idea, if you're a Greg Capullo fan, if you're a Spawn fan. I think the new stand edition in Spawn 16, it would be a really great one in a 9.8 to get. So interesting on this one, like on the census, they do separate the new stands and the directs. I believe they only started doing that pretty recently, like in the last few years. There's only like three or four new stands in a 9.8 blue label um, on the census. But I know on the direct or on the, the sort of normal, por normal portion of the census, there's 104 9.8s in the blue label. Some of those are going to be new stands because they didn't separate the new stands and the directs right from the beginning when they started, you know, grading this one. Uh, so there's going to be more newsstands out there in the 9.8 than three or four, like on the census, but a tough one. 44.1% uh, is the 9.8 ratio uh, for just on the normal part of the census, the directs and the newsstands, newsstands all clumped together. So I think the newsstand edition, you know, I, I wasn't able to find a completed listing in this one in that new stand edition I think a little bit under 300 is going to be kind of worth it and you know maybe if one kind of stealth pops up in an auction maybe it'll go a little a little closer to 200 possibly would be my guess but I just think uh, the first Capullo one in a new stand is going to be really tough to find in the 9.8 I see that one over time with Greg Capullo kind of just really being known for awesome spawn work um, you know, being maybe six to seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe even pushing that thousand dollar level in, you know, five or ten years or something like that on a Spawn 16 newsstand in a 9.8. But you know what? Even the direct edition around a hundred bucks, there's actually one on eBay right now. I was uh, really close to pulling the trigger. It's on uh, my comic shop. So I'd went on their site, it's pretty much 99.99. And if you go on the completed listings on eBay, this one in the direct edition sells. Pretty much like I think one sold for 110. So it's it's kind of maybe you get it a little under 100 if you're lucky, but they're about 100 bucks. Uh, so this one on my comic shop though, uh, it, it says on the note that there's a, a piece of paper in the slab and you can kind of tell. And then on the bottom left corner, it kind of looks like maybe there's a color breaking spine tick. I'll probably use the same uh, <laughs> image. Uh, so hopefully you can kind of notice it on this image. But I think I'm going to pass and just kind of be patient. But a, a direct one right around 100 bucks, I still feel is kind of worth it, certainly, if you're a Greg Capullo fan. Watch out for that new stand, though, if you're really liking this idea and you're a little more serious. The new stand 9.8 for the first Greg Capullo spawn artwork, I think, is undervalued. And over time, it's going to be a good one to have, I have a feeling. All right, moving on to uh, the second pick, undervalued 9.8 comics. It's uh, Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number one, or Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Uh, like on the cover, it's Ultimate Comics all new Spider-Man number one, but on the census, it's just Ultimate Spider-Man number one. This one came out in 2011, the origin of Miles Morales. And um, it's, uh, yeah, first appearance of the Prowler, like the new Prowler, who's uh, Miles Morales' uncle, who plays a big part of this story. And you, yeah, you know what? Like this is clearly an obvious one, second appearance of Miles' origin. Uh, but I do think this one's a little bit undervalued. I was able to kind of read, uh, just in the past few days, Ultimate Fall 4 and this uh, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man number one. Ultimate Fall 4, you know, solid first appearance. A bit of an underwhelming Miles appearance, in my uh, uh, opinion. He sort of fights this, like, kangaroo guy. And uh, I, the Pichelli... I believe it's uh, Pacelli that does the Miles Morales art in Ultimate Fallout 4. He's kind of got a big head and he just looks like a, a boy too much. Like he almost looks like a baby, like a baby Spider-Man in a way. 
So to be honest, uh, like I read Ultimate Comic Spider-Man as well, which you know gets into the Prowler and how he gets bit by the spider and everything. I actually feel like Ultimate Comics Spider-Man is a, number one is a way better read in my opinion. So I just think there's a little bit to make up in value for uh, the Ultimate Comic Spider-Man number one. Similar to like this one's going to be super well collected over time. Uh, it being the origin and you know a, a huge Miles key issue, obviously like an Amazing Fantasy 15 first appearance of Spider-Man. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one has absolutely done so well in value as well. It's been an amazing comic book to invest in. And I have a feeling over time, like Ultimate Fallout 4, amazing. It's awesome in a 9.8. I got one in the first print. But this uh, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man number one, I think is just going to be right up there with it trending up in value. And so far it, it has. And uh, so on the census, 365 9.8. It's in a blue label. So 21.4% to 9.8 ratio. This one looks... Quite a lot better to the Ultimate Fallout 4, especially nowadays with um, there's so many 9.8s in that Ultimate Fallout 4. I think it's over 3,000. So there's 365 of these, and a 1 of 365 is looking pretty great for an, an awesome Miles Morales uh, collector item. 21.4%, the 9.8 ratio of all graded copies sent to CGC. About 21.4% of them are 9.8s. That's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, lower the better. The lower the kind of tougher the 9.8. And uh, that's a little bit lower than Ultimate Fallout 4, which is in itself a pretty tough 9.8. So both of these are just great ones. But uh, I think Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number one could kind of uh, make some value up in price, uh, let's call it, in the 9.8. So a few have sold right around $2,000 in this one. A little bit over, a little bit under, depending on like how hot the rumors were, sort of, let's just say, in the last three to four months. But if you go back a few... Um, months. I saw one sell for $1,499.99. And in January of this year, I saw one sell for $1,299.99. So there's not too many of these out there, but I think if one pops up, if you can get it right around the $1,500 level, I think that's a, a, a an undervalued price. I think uh, over time, you're going to do so well on this one if you got a long-term time horizon at 1,500, but you know what? Maybe even around 2,000 now, a one of 365. Yeah, I just, I know this one's gonna be really, you know, well collected, I think, um, over time. Uh, so so uh, a few variants for this one to consider as well. I believe they're both Pacelli variants. One is like the unmasked variant cover, which is like the more expensive one. Consider those if you're a little more serious. I do kind of like the first print cover, which has Kind of become pretty iconic, I think. Um, what else did I want to mention? Oh yeah, the um, Ultimate Follow 4, the second printing, Pichelli variant of the second printing. Uh, I find that one just really sells well. Like They don't last long if they're up for a fair value, like days usually. So they're, they're really selling, I think. And I think I've underestimated that one a little bit to where the Abagli second printing, which I really like. I have that one in a 9.8. That's done well over time as well. But uh, I think this... Pacelli second printing is uh, maybe a little bit better of a, of a value right now, let's call it. It's around $500. I uh, just wanted to mention that one quickly. And since, uh, you know, Miles Morales origin, we're talking about this brand new comic book I thought was really cool. And uh, in a 9.8, I actually ended up grabbing one in a 9.8 for, I believe it was like $51 and 50 cents or something like that. I sent them like the Van Halen bid, but, uh, and they accepted. Uh, it's this uh, Marvel Actions Origin number four with the origin of Miles Morales with the really cool, like, eye appealing Miles Morales covers. I feel like for some reason I kind of have a soft spot for these, like, kid uh, versions of uh, some of, you know, the stories. And this is basically like a four kids version of Miles Morales' origin. So I read this one too. I really like the art on this one as well. And just loving the art and kind of how they bring kind of. Probably, the, I think it's the first four issues of Ultimate Comic Spider-Man, pretty much in one book. Easy to read and understand for kids, so great art, I thought, too. Really colorful, kind of eye-appealing. So I ended up just kind of getting out there and buying this one in a 9.8, admittedly, on a bit of a whim. But uh, right around 50 bucks, kind of a cool reprint of the origin of Miles, I thought was uh, worth it. So maybe if you're on a budget, you can't do the uh, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Number one is uh, understandable. Uh, consider that Marvel Actions Origins number four. All right, uh, just wanted to show uh, everyone before we go the uh, Dark Ages number two. This is the Frankie's Comics Virgin Edition I had got in the mail. Really happy with this one. This one looks awesome. I uh, just, 
you know, I, I got it uh, earlier today pretty much, really looking at it for uh, quite a long time and uh, I think some great details on this one. So if you're interested, I did a recent video on uh, the Dark Ages books where they sort of introduced this Miles Morales that's been possessed by a Venom Carnage hybrid symbiote. Uh, and the sort of first appearance is kind of on the cover, which was interesting in issue two, and this is an issue two, uh, with the first kind of normal appearance being in issue three and within the story. Uh, so I thought this one might be one to go after with the Amazing Spider-Man 300 homage. I paid $99.99 for it. Just wanted to kind of show everyone and, uh, that I got it in. And uh, looking great too, like just uh, no kind of Newton rings on the case, uh, looking like a primo. 9.8 even like a 9.9 .9 candidate I can't it's a brand new one so you'd expect it but sometimes you get like fuzzy corners on a corner or two or something like that but really happy with this one coming in today and, and certainly a great eye appeal so yeah it's a Dark Ages 2 the uh, Frankie's Comics Virgin Edition if you're liking that sort of Miles Morales symbiote hybrid that uh, recently appeared in, in the Dark Ages uh, storyline for the first time all right but uh, a couple undervalued 9.8s to consider Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future videos.